Here's a breakdown of last week's top stories. In early February, a series of roadside bombings in Benin's W National Park killed seven employees of the conservation group African Parks, including four rangers and a French anti-poaching trainer. Suspected to have been carried out by Islamist militants based in Burkina Faso, the attacks are raising fears that violence in the Sahel is spilling over into Benin, with the country's national parks as its front line. And in Roatan, Honduras, the Bay Islands Conservation Association is finding success in protecting its reef using a community-led effort with scientific and institutional support. This success is rare as Honduras ranks among the most dangerous countries for environmental activists. A subsidiary of South Korean paper company Morim has cleared natural forests a tenth the size of Seoul in the Papua region over the past six years, a new report alleges. The report also alleges cleared areas consisted of habitat for threatened species and a source of livelihood for indigenous Papuans. That's all the news I've got for you. Have a great week, everyone.